We are talking suicide awareness and prevention with Dr. Jenna Mendelson from Cone Health. So this is one of the things where in our last break we were just talking about how do you have that conversation with the child if you see some of those warning signs. Um, I'm guessing some of the steps will be the same, but some will be a little bit different if you are mm -hmm. going toe-to-toe um, -to -toe with an adult who you may think ha are having some of those issues. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if, if someone you know or love discloses to you that they're having thoughts of hurting themselves and killing themselves, um, first thing is take it seriously. We always want to take this seriously. Try to stay calm. Uh, try to, you know, it's easy, it's upsetting to hear that and easy to have our own emotional reactions. But the more you can stay calm and just leave space for them to open up, the more helpful information you're going to get to keep them safe. Don't promise confidentiality because you're going to want to mm -hmm. let their friends and family members know about this so that they have that much more support in terms of keeping them safe. Ask them if they have a plan. See if you can find out what the plan is so that you can maybe help in making sure that they don't have the means to act out their plan. Um, if, if you need to, you know, if you're really concerned that this person is not able to keep themselves safe, take them to the emergency room. Go ahead, call 911 if you need to, drive them to the emergency room, take them to a mental health urgent care. And um, once they're there, they're, the medical professionals will be able to keep them safe and triage them to the appropriate treatment. What happens if you're not like in the same area? You know, a lot of times I think to myself, we're having these kinds of conversations with people who are in the same room or in the same town or something like that, but maybe we're towns away. How do we help them? Keep them on the phone, keep them talking to you. And if you can, I mean, this is tricky to keep them on the phone and do this, but call their local police, um, call 911 if they're in your area and um, have the police go out and do a well check on them. And if they're not safe, um, they will make sure that the person makes it to the emergency room and gets into the appropriate care. Mm -hmm. Especially if they're talking to you and saying, I'm going to do this now kind of thing. And mm -hmm. All right, so um, can you share how the Guilford County Behavioral Urgent Care Center can help people? I think a lot of people would be interested, like if you do take them somewhere, what are the steps? What happens next? Absolutely. So this is a great resource available to those of us in Guilford County. They're open 24-7. Um, their phone number is 336-890-2700, and they see people aged four and up. So if you have somebody that you're concerned about where you need that care right then in the moment, the Guilford County Behavioral Health Urgent Care is absolutely an option. All right. Say that number for me one more time. Yeah, absolutely. It's 336-890-2700. All right. Now, since you said that phone number recently, there's a new hotline, the 988 hotline launched. Um, talk about a, how that works, who's on the other end of the phone, how they'll be giving help. Mm -hmm. So um, this used to be the suicide and crisis lifeline. Um, it is now, um, you know, kind of a national emergency line for people having mental health crises. It offers 24 seven phone call, text and chat access. You get to talk to a trained crisis counselor who can help people experiencing suicidal ideation and also substance abuse and other mental health crises. So if you are in a situation where you're talking to a friend and maybe you're not sure what steps to take and you're really concerned about them, this is a number that you can call and speak with a mental health professional who can help guide you and your friend through whatever they might need next. Mm -hmm. And to do it together. Now that's one resource. I'm sure there are other resources that people can utilize that we can touch on really quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the most simple and straightforward one that I want to make sure people know is if, if you or someone you know is suicidal, you can always go to the emergency room. They will keep you physically safe. They will figure out what it is that you need and they will triage you to the appropriate care. So there's a really simple solution if you, if you or someone you love is, is having suicidal ideation. We have about a minute left and I am I kind of want to, you know, what are the common misconceptions that maybe you want to set straight when it comes to suicide? Yeah, often people will think that it can't happen to anyone that they know, that it only happens to a certain kind of person or um, that it just wouldn't happen to someone like them. And unfortunately, that's just not true. People of all ages, um, races, genders, cultures commit suicide. Um, currently, 
20% of high school students endorse having some kind of suicidal ideation at some point. I might be misquoting this, but I think the statistic is 30% of people experience these kinds of thoughts at some point in their lifetime. So unfortunately, it's really common. Okay. Thank you for your time and your expertise. We appreciate that. We don't want you to miss any of what we have talked about in the last two segments. So in a few minutes, we're going to have everything that we just went over, including those phone numbers and things on our website. Just head over to the To Your Wellbeing section.